Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm here, MIPS10, with a very special guest commentator today. We got Dr. Usher in the house. Hey, what's going on, guys? Today, I'm bringing you a, uh, a little Rush gameplay in a little series of videos I'm going to do entitled How to Be a Medic. Now, I, I say how to, but it's pretty basic how to be a medic. I'm going to pretty much show my play style, which is an aggressive medic and uh, just show the benefits, kind of give a few tips and tricks kind of deal going here. But uh, yeah, this is a, uh, a match that me and Doc got into yesterday, and uh, I want you to take notice as soon as we get in there. Um, we came in with 44 tickets. Well, I think it immediately dropped to like 41 tickets. They had no crates. All blue guys camping out the spawn like the blue guys do. And me and Doc really went in here and uh, beasted on these people and really uh, took control of this match as a, a two-person squad, which was uh, pretty ridiculous. Yeah, but, uh, I, I also noticed right when we got in that the enemies had destroyed all of the forest right in front of our deployment, which was a total bummer, as the the forest is uh, is pretty crucial on this map in Rush, anyway. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> we immediately got in behind them. Like, these first two crates, if they camp out this building pretty hard, then uh, they're kind of difficult to take. But uh, we were able to get around the backside of them and uh, work our way in using teamwork. That is the key to this game, is teamwork. Yeah, funny how that works out. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you, you would think that that was like a like, uh, foreign language to people. Uh, I just tried to spot a guy there because we were just playing softcore. We just went to the hardcore, which this is also hardcore, which makes medicing just a touch harder. Because you pretty much actually got to see people go down. They, they don't have the little mini map with the people on there, so uh, it's a lot easier to uh, be a squad medic than an actual just basic medic. Unless you can tell these people apart when they're dead on the ground, because I have absolutely no skills at telling anybody apart, other other than the the Russian medic with the red hat on. Yeah, I, but, uh, I've I've actually seen quite a few medics in hardcore, like enemy medics that'll that'll kill me or their squad mate will kill me or whatever. And uh, they'll run up and try and revive me. <laughs> I always have a good laugh. <laughs> but uh, as you see, what, what happened right there is uh, we got a arms, and then um, I had to revive Doc, of course, because I'm offering support to him. I got killed by that guy, but luckily Doc was still up back there, and was able to get the kill, get killed himself. But we got the crate, which is key. Yeah, the crate is really all that matters. I, I don't particularly uh, care too much about my uh, kill death ratio in uh, objective games on um, sure battlefield or really anything for that matter uh, but battlefield especially I mean it's crucial to just go after the objectives and uh, just not give a fuck about um, about your KD or, or what have you uh, the win is the most important part <laughs> See, right there that was really blind luck honestly that I was able to uh, get Doc right there I just saw a dead body <laughs> and I hit the defib but it happened to be Doc dead there I will say I play with Doc all the time and he died more of this match than I think possibly ever seen him <laughs> it, it really helped out and I, I seriously doubt he was doing that for my benefit no I managed to actually break even on the uh, the kills and the deaths I think it was like 17 and 17 or something like that when it was all over uh, but yeah, we, we we managed to secure the win on this one pretty much, uh, not necessarily single-handedly. I mean, once we got out there and really started running around and uh, and and doing shit, the uh, the blue guys seemed to kind of come out of their shell a little bit and uh, leave the spawn. Not totally, but more than they were when we first joined the game. Yeah, you see the little uh, the little switch off there. Of uh, Doc reviving me after he got the kill and the guy that got me. That, that's good teamwork. We switch pits off and we're back attacking. <laughs> I, I go down there, but immediately make call outs like you should. And there's Doc with the guy who gets killed, but I get to spawn back in to kill the guy that got me and get the revive. Yeah, I was totally robbed of that knife, man. My blade was in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Which happens so very often in Battlefield, it seems. Yeah, it was a rubber knife for sure. But uh, we're still we're still making it around. We still haven't got a... Uh, we moved on to the second set of crates. Shit, I don't even think we've made it up to the second set of crates yet. No, not just yet. We're right there, though. Yeah, but th this is the uh, key... The, uh, another key to Battlefield in general. Flanking. Never run straight down the middle of the map. I don't know why anyone would ever do... Alright. 
I, I have to stop and just talk about how stupid I am here. I just, for some reason, saw that guy running away and, oh, I'm gonna go stab him. <laughs> and, snipe, and then I die. <laughs> you chased him a stop. little too far, man. <laughs> yeah, stop, stop. Don't, don't chase people that far. I should have stopped and shot him. I should have I shot him from up on the hill. See, there's another one. I get the guy that got docked. Get him back up. That, that, that's the key to hanging back. You kind of hang back away from everybody just a touch. You see where the the gunfire is coming from, and then you you have an advantage over the battlefield. <laughs> I like how you took the time to pull out the defib paddles to open the door there, rather than just slash it with the knife. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's I think it's faster with the defib. I really do. <laughs> you can get, if you can get the motion down, the knife, you know, it sometimes just uh, takes a little too much time in this game. I had no idea it was even possible until playing some of those private uh, yeah, matches on the PS3, where you're doing the defib only hot. thing. Yeah, uh, I figured out that you could destroy fences and shit. Been playing the game for um, you know, like a year and a half or however long it's been out. Never knew that you could destroy fences and doors with defib battles. All right, on a on a general battlefield note, right here, I intentionally was not taking this crate. I was in here, I was offering support, giving Doc a spawn place if he dies. I, I intentionally didn't take the B crate because you always want to take the hardest crate first. I don't know why. I almost wanted to team kill that guy trying to take the crate, but that's that's not being team worthy. I mean, we still end up getting it, but it makes it so much easier if you take the hard crate and then you can just blow a building up if you get into a tight jam. Yeah, definitely. Nothing pisses me off more. This map especially because there are some really hard crates on here. I think uh, it's B on the last set of them is probably the most difficult crate to take in the game. Yeah, that one that's behind the house, cause it's, that's because their actual uh, playable area goes back farther than the attacking teams, and they can camp out behind there, behind that fence, just pile up like five people, and it's damn near impossible to uh, arm it. And they they will often spawn like right behind that crate, too. On, on this particular match, though, we actually had more difficulty taking the A crate on this set than uh, the B crate on the last set, dude. Those five guys camping at this yes. house right here. Yeah, th this is was the big key to their uh, their success for a little while. Is there's literally at the very least five guys up upstairs in this house. Now Doc called out right there to me, but I wasn't I wasn't sure where he went down. He told me that he went down, and I was going to try to get in that house and hide and give him a spawn point, which another key to being a, a medic. But um, yeah, that that was a uh, mistake on my part. But those guys do camp out that house for like the next. 30 kills, 20 kills at least. <laughs> Alright, see Doc, I see Doc go down, I see where the bullets come from. Take the guy down, revive him up again. And then go down, but luckily, Doc's right there to blow him away. And give me a spawn point back in his damn house. <laughs> where I get shot in the ass by some jackass camping in the corner with a fucking Saiga. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the Xbox, but it seems that they break out the automatic shotguns more on the 360 than any of the other platforms this game is played on. Maybe it's just I'm running into more assholes on the 360 than anything else, but it, that's just my my personal opinion. I've actually considered making like a, a, a montage of me getting murdered by you <laughs> <laughs> okay, We We definitely had a match before this that definitely would have worked out, I swear to you. There were at least four or five medics with USASs on this team, and it was extremely annoying. Yeah. Now, again, hanging back, I see Doc go down in the same damn house. I don't think this one works out as well. I think I get shot while trying to throw a grenade up there or something. Yeah, I kept trying to tell you every time, like, don't go in there, just stay away. Go around the backside and, and just wait for me to spawn on you, and we'll do this another way out. I want these assholes to die. <laughs> <laughs> They just stay there for so long, and I mean, it, it becomes effective, but I mean, we eventually, I think what happens is uh, we, we pretty much take away their um, their attention, and they get focused on me and Doc trying to get up there and get them, and one of the blue guys finally runs up and arms the crate, and of course, they can't get down there because there's too many people surrounding them. Yeah, I think I ended up putting C4 all over the place on that one house, too, and just blew out the wall they were hiding behind, and it was no longer an effective strategy as well. Because uh, I believe I was running the 870 uh, shotgun in this match, if I'm not mistaken. At that point back there where I had to stop and heal myself and reload, I was also yelling at Doc to stop and wait for me, and he just kept on running, if you didn't notice. <laughs> That's what I do, man. I just keep on running. I don't got time to get your med kits and all that. I gotta run. 
<laughs> Those crates aren't gonna arm oh, themselves, damn it. So now now I get to play catch up and I'm trying to stay behind everything and survive and catch it. Oh shit, you're already dead at this point now. Yeah, I died a long ass time ago. I think I spawned like right now. Or right now. There it goes. Back in this damn house. They're still all up here. I, I think I get two or three of them through this little uh, this little time period here. The house is about to go as it is anyway. I, I think this is about when you decided to start C4ing it. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got killed by a sniper or somebody a across the street. And I could not for the life of me figure out where they were. I, I guess they had moved at this point. But yeah, that one medic sitting up there watching the stairs, man. Every time I, he caught a glimpse of my face, he just unloaded. There he is again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just took Alpha right there. Finally, so now we get to the last set. Uh, I haven't seen the scoreboard. I don't. I don't know how how that's gotten to yet. I was for sure that Doc was going to die right there, so I backed out. <laughs> so I would. And see, that's another key. I've also done this a hundred times, being a medic. Is I'll hang back and I'll watch them run in too early, and then I'll run in like right after them. They'll die. They'll suicide, and then I'll get to revive. That's like the only suicide they'll let you revive somebody on. Which is is almost worth it to get. Uh, you know. I mean, if I went in too early, it would be ideal to have gone at the right time, but I still get the benefits of, uh, of running early if you get the revive. Yeah, but th this right here, this was the key point, because like, like we were talking about earlier, this is one of the hardest crates in the game. Um, we came in here, I dock armed it once, got it, they got it disarmed, but I was able to revive him and he get him back out there again while trying to hold a spawn point, but luckily, or not unluckily, they came over there and figured out where I was. But we decided to go the exact same route because that worked before to at least get it armed since they got it disarmed again. Yeah, I don't know where I don't know where the rest of their team was at this point because I only saw the same two or three guys in that one spot every time. But there was never anybody else over there. <laughs> okay, another key to being a medic. This is another opportunity where I'm saying, Doc, before we run up here, come back, come back here and heal. But no, he just keeps running. <laughs> Luckily, my med kit is still here from the last time we were up here. <laughs> That's my way, man. <laughs> the medics no, I'm, chase I'm, me all day long. I'm, I'm hanging back once again. Doc is <laughs> one arm in the crate okay. like he does. And then all, all, all my key is here is I hang back. I watch, watch his corners. I'm going to make sure Doc stays alive. If anything happens, keep people from disarming as best as possible. I think uh, the blue guys, are, yeah, just, they arm B right now, so that, that's perfect timing for both crates to be going off at the same time, and it works out in our favor. Yeah, once uh, once B is down, uh, this this last set is pretty easy. But I think A actually blew first on that one. But uh, yeah, man, that, that's about it. Um, and I, I ended up with uh, 21 and 13. I think it's going to show now, which is a great. KD, I'm not going to lie, my KD is like a .68, so I was extremely excited to have another uh, good KD game. I got the ace pin, which, I mean, any good match with a medic, an ace pin is very easy to pull off. Yeah, we pulled but the bold uh, squad pin as only two people there as well. Yeah, yeah, that's another key. That, that's that's teamwork right there, and that's how you win with Battlefield. But uh, that's it. Um, I will be coming back with uh, a defending video and a conquest video, and... Um, Thanks for watching the attacking video. Look forward to more.